Anyway, uh, we'll... Hello and welcome to this final boss fight, Let's Play. You heard all the other people introduce themselves. I'm John. I'm here to be the DM for this In the Clutch of the Cult game. Um, when last the group met, they travelled deep into... Glad I checked it early. Uh, I probably remember traveling into there. Tra <laughs> travel deep into the malevolent mines underneath Ithrimbril, uh, formerly in the search of Palarandusk, apparently now being called by a more malevolent force. They fought several creatures, uh, eldritch horrors that had twisted the very forms of both their own flesh and the magic in the environment around them, as well as several traps. Uh, they came away with some new magical items, um, and they confronted Malazan, the angel in irons, uh, who had gone rather insane given his long, solitary confinement. Uh, but before they actually fought with Malazan, uh, borrowed led the group through an arcane gateway and fled from the fight. Um, they returned back to the surface of Ithrimbril and headed back into the small uh, mining settlement where Luna had a minor uh, mental breakdown given that uh, Malazan claimed it knew that she wasn't the true parent of Briar. Not surprised. Um, you all uh, comforted Luna a little bit and also shared some thoughts about how to move forward, which included going shopping to get some uh, potions as you have no healer, and also looking for some old teammates of Luna's who might have more information. Uh, you decided that you would head to Waterdeep um, before heading back up to the castle, and when you get there, uh, it's going to be about 11 hours to travel from where you are now to Waterdeep. Um, and so in that time, you can take a long rest Yay! Nice. Um, and I believe that you were getting up into the castle in the sort of early evening time anyway, so... 8.43. Yeah, so fairly decent time for, for long rests and then being in Waterdeep the following middle of the morning early morning depends on your viewpoint of morning really <laughs> um, so I'm just going to quickly go through everybody's character sheets on D&D Beyond and press the long rest button I'll do it myself I, can do that. I, can I do don't that. even have one. Oh, yeti tights sorry uh, Still looking for that. Uh, Steel said he could do it. Essela said they could yeah. do it. Okay. Oh, are you D&D Beyond? D&D Beyond sheets, yes. Dum dum beard. Dum dum beard. Borrowed. Yes. During your night's sleep. Uh, Not me, Death Demon. <laughs> 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 Well, well, just up with the boyfriend. Uh, you find yourself <laughs> back in a waterlogged cave with a pyramid inside. Yeah, I was gonna say. My whole perceptive, like, whole perception of this now has like literally changed recently. Pyramids are bad. I mean, yeah. Mm. 
hello again, goodbye again, and I'm going to face towards the exit and try and walk out of it. As you do, the exit just <laughs> slams shut. That is your answer to everything. You run away. Why did you run from that one? That Ooh. creature had power that we could have used. Ah, you're starting to catch on. Could have used, and now you won't. We could have hollowed it out and made it our own. Ah. Now you will suffer. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> we want to find ourselves a new vessel. Be mutual, be- mutually beneficial for you to get out of me and for me to leave your service. However, no, because it's much more fun to keep fucking with you this way. <laughs> And since uh, my, well, a bunch of my friends sent uh, your husband uh, exploding from the internals outwards um, via pyramid death, um, I'm not, you're not going to get anything from me. Not anymore. Now now that I know what you are, no. You will serve. No, I, I will not. Sorry. Just like the bars assassin in his dream. He's like, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> what can you do? You can't even leave a cave. The voice just roars. And it roars such a deep, malevolent roar that it hurts your ears. And in the middle of the night, you snap awake with a cold sweat. Okay. Can I roll something to see if that wakes me up? Um, roll me a perception check. No. You stay very asleep. I think um, with how I was very briefly. Just yeah, you, you are very, very asleep right now. Um, okay, with uh, me waking up like that, I'm going to um, mage hand my, like, cook's notebook over to me, write down everything that just happened, including what was said to the best of my memory, uh, close it up and just, just sort of snuggle into... Uh, Milo a little bit more before heading back to sleep. And then Merlin the cat smacks on your face. <laughs> 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 just, just gonna get Flair to pick Merlin up and move the two of them off the bed. <laughs> okay. You continue the rest of the night. It's like the how so comfy the beds look like in Studio Ghibli movies. <laughs> you just can just sink into them. Yeah, that's what Milo and Boro's bed look like. It's like proper comfort kind of thing. That's like a billion, billion blankets. Snug right there. <laughs> Borrowed, can you make me a constitution saving throw, please? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sure, sure can. Sure can do. But can you? You can. 15. Well, maybe. I don't know. It might be just like horrific. Okay. 15. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Fine. cool. Oh, totally, cool. yep. Cool. Whatever you need, John. Don't worry about it. Cool. You all. Uh, well, I mean, some of you don't sleep, so 
Steel and Essela, do you want to discuss what it is you do throughout the night as as your time of rest has passed? Um, I think I need to go talk to Steel about something that happened down in the mine. Well, conveniently, you're both awake. Convenient, we don't sleep. Convenient. <laughs> <laughs> you, you both, you, you get your four to six hours of rest, trancing or no trancing. low power four moding. To six, four to six hours of recharge time. Um, I will cautiously make my way to the forge and knock on the door. I'm telling you, uh, you get on it. Um, yes. I um, think I owe you another apology. Something happened down there, didn't it? It did. I don't know what it was. Um, I was all set for firing th- for shoot for firing my spell at that creature. I I felt it leave, and the next thing I know, it was hitting you instead. I I don't know why I'm. I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know what else I can say. I understand that it was something you couldn't control. But at the time, having recently been hit by another spell from a supposed ally. <coughs> it pushed. It pushed me to a point. I can understand that. <laughs> we just have to make sure we do better. That's all. I hold no ill will for you. I know it wasn't deep down I know it wasn't you doing what what Luna was calculated and well so there are no hard feelings Thank you, that that means a lot. I don't prefer it again, but we can't. So 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 would I. So would I, at least not deliberately from my from my side anyway. No. Well I thank you for the apology regardless. That's yeah, that's really what I came here to say. Um I will leave you to your whatever it is you get up to in these in these night times. Is that, is that, is that, is that a, some sort of rope leading from you to the wall? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I must. I must be. What's it? What, what the, why is it? Who who put who put yarn down here? Just hold up a ball of yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Merlin the cat uh, comes running into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, um, good night. I'll, I'll speak to you more in the morning. Speak in the morning. Then there's a slight flutter of wings as uh, Flair comes and picks Merlin and the ball of yarn up and takes them back to the bedroom. Borrowed borrow a Milo wake up in the morning. What the fuck's all this yarn? <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. It's like someone murdered a fucking yarn doll. <laughs> <laughs> Turned out that yarn doll was actually um, something that Milo uses for his spell. <laughs> He's like, oh, I need that. <laughs> Get out the knitting needles again and. Like metally makes the thing <laughs> dull again. Um, okay, so the morning arrives. Um, uh, 
Morning, Tim. Good oh, morning, Tim. I am already in the kitchen. I'm just having a big sleep in because I'm <laughs> Sage is going to be in the kitchen as well. Okay. Drinking some fine, yeah. fine wine. It's Do early you morning. You're drinking already? Yes, I need it after seeing the creature. I have. There's coffee? Like I brewed a. There's a fresh pot in there. The put, it in the, put it in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> with the in wine. The, in, with in the, the wine, yes. With the wine. Uh, yeah. Deal would also go to the kitchen, but obviously wouldn't. Yeah. Just hang it right there. It's now in the cup. There's now coffee in the cup. Uh, no, there's, there's coffee and wine in the cup. This is good. That's. That's. And Gross. I shall now eat some lovely eggs. Mm. Yummy, yummy eggs. Where are we? Are we, um. Are we over water deep? Can we are, we over, are we directly over water deep? Uh, I mean, depending on how quickly you went to sleep the night before, uh, you were a couple of hours out. You may be like an hour and a half away from the actual being over water deep at this point. Mm. Yeah, just just enough time to have a good breakfast. So why can anyone tell me why there was a load of yarn outside the corridors? <laughs> I think. Merlin and Flair got into a fight last night that somehow involved a ball of yarn. Who even uh, had a ball of yarn? Oh, um, Milo needed it for spellcasting. Anyway, I guess you had ball? another freaky dream last night. Say, so just takes his finger and goes. <laughs> it looks between looks between both of you because it could be either. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I didn't dream last night, so it must be you then. You, you can, Milo you can slowly see comes me. in with like a big massive blanket around him like he's like a big sad burrito. Mm. Yeah. Just sit the, there. There's so. already a plate of food for Milo just sitting out. Um, Another pyramid, yay. Oh, yeah, I got it all written down right here. Um, and I will... Hand me the book. No, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna regale, I regale the those attending... Uh, with the information. That's... And now a dramatic reading. Yes, and I do it. My novel. <laughs> the, 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 like, well, we borrowed, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mid-80s <laughs> 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 Schwarzenegger. Nipples are drinks. So. Ah, so I see that you can escape. But, so, is that the Unchained one that they were referring to? Well, no, I'm pretty sure this is still, um, Discordia. You know, the one that has been just perpetually haunting my dreams. Yeah, she is chained, I guess, yeah. Hmm, and she looks like she sounds a bit pissed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gave my ears just a hell of a ringing. Gotta say. You've pissed off your demon, your mistress. She ain't my mistress. I don't have a pact with her, not anymore. Mm. Pact with her? Accidentally, what, at one point, but then through uh, c cunning plans, I figured it out. <clears throat> and I'm no longer in her sort of. Employ. Basically, basically you're not wrapped around her thing. That's what you're trying to employ. But she still comes on to you in her dreams. Well, there is a shard of her, like, kind of lodged deep in my chest at the moment from the explosion that destroyed. I think we all knew that, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure. Out of I'll still stand by every move, pulls out a knife. No. I'm sure out of everyone, you would have seen Boros' very sexy chest. Milo just like wraps. No. <laughs> Milo just wraps his blanket around his face, all completely black. And blushes into the burrito. <laughs> that puts my that put a little smile on his face. It's immediately terrible. Yeah. 
Well, I've eaten my eggs. And they want to play chess with me. That's a I'll game. play chess. I'll play chess with you. I, I was going to say, I might try. Let's play a game of Dragon Chess, shall we? I haven't played since we first met each other. Well, <laughs> steal in there. <that. laughs> Sorry. All I've been doing is just staring dramatically at the ceiling. Uh, at the sky, sorry. Uh, I'm disappointed to say that we did not meet the dragon, which I'm very disappointed in. If you yeah. are proficient with dragon chess sets, which Sage is, I don't know if Esola is. Esola is not. <laughs> uh, Esola, can I get an intelligence check? Sage, can I get a check with the dragon chess set? Uh, plus your intelligence modifier. Of course. Oh, don't know why that's open. I'll take the nine. Okay. Yep. <laughs> It'd be nice if I actually opened up my character sheet, wouldn't it? Also, hey, Vipe. What's up, Vipe? Vipe, Vipe, Vipe says, Frick, I missed the start. It's fine. Uh, so if you go down, there you yeah. go. I know, yeah, no, no, yeah, I know where he is. Cool. Uh, so. Uh, you start a game of Dragon's Chess and Milo still in burrito form looks on as you make powerful moves and Essel is not really sure what she's doing she understands the basic rules uh, but hasn't really played the game that much yet you got you got this one here and then that one goes there <laughs> um, that, that one goes oh oh, oh oh um and, and, and this bit here, what's that doing there? That's a bit of yarn. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> it takes, it takes about uh, just over 20, 25 minutes, and Sage, you eventually uh, checkmate. Yeah. Well, um, thank you for the game. It was certainly a learning experience. Uh, you know, this was just the training basics. You know that we're going to play again. <laughs> But okay, we're gonna, very we're well. Gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna put our money where our mouth is. This is how we play. This is how we play in uh, in, in, in my hometown. We play with money. One hundred gold coins on the table. <laughs> just, like, say, just pulls out. You know, like the equivalent of just throwing a bag, and people just know how much is in there. Just. That's, I never, I never figured out. It's like, no, here's a bag of coins. It's always exactly the right amount. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's just, it could be just anything. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> this is how we do it in Neverwinter. Um, oh, if you, if you insist, yes. Um, takes out her bag of money. Um, let me see now. One. Um, there's a copper piece there. Um, how long have we got? <laughs> you just pull out a button. <laughs> uh, Jeff, have we got a bob in tonight? <laughs> Vipe, Vipe put like a bob check. Ah, uh, no bob, uh, no bob tonight though. No, no bob, bob tonight. tonight. No bob tonight. Yeah. There might be fire uh, though. So there might be fire though. Yep. I mean, um, we're probably. I mean, we're probably going to at least hear some taverns. No, no, he, he, no, I, no, no, no. I think I think this is a um, this is a lesson worth taking. Um, I will I will give you your hundred. I'll put hundred on the table. Two oh, hours. Geez. Two hours later. Ninety-eight. Ninety-nine. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think um, Milo's just snuck up to the bar and sneeze again. <laughs> Take a nap. Milo, can you make me a perception check, please? Can make me a snuggle check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, snuggle yeah. check. Roll me a roll me a snuggle check. Are you proficient? Death saving Fred, make sure you don't start to cut yourself in the fight. And <laughs> <laughs> not nine, fortunately. Okay. At least it's something. I, I, I hope some next perception check Milo makes is actually above ten. <laughs> Otherwise, it's too late. I'm not very high again today. I think bad luck rolls for the day. Milo, you. Some days roll twenty just doesn't like us. Yeah. Uh, Milo. Yeah. You do notice that Oro seems warm. Like as he's hot. Is it, like <laughs> yeah. warm or just like really warm? Than his average. Warmer like, than warm. average. 
warmer than usual. Bard's a very warm person on account of being a tiefling, but you know, it's fine. You're very, very warm. No, really? I feel I fine. Just put, I just put my head, like, my hand onto his like forehead. I don't feel anything. You'd not noticed it, Borrowed, but it... It is warm in here. Ooh. Now that you mention it, it is... You know, it is a bit... It is a bit warm. Do you want to go outside for a bit? Get some fresh air? Yeah, you know what? I think I will. And I'll just sort of, like, wave at the cauldron and it'll just, the flames will just go out under it. It's fine. <laughs> I'll actually take. I'll put the blanket back to the bedroom. Get changed a little bit because he wasn't wearing a lot of clothes underneath the blanket. <laughs> oh Got no! Properly, and then he goes out. With Bard oh. and we sit beside the uh, re area. Wherever the guy was. Oh. Probably just be like where we are on the map. Just like somewhere on the grass. Somewhere on the grass. Just sort of like. Sitting down, just the the apron and the and the the jacket have sort of uh, come off, and it's just in like his simple sort of day clothes. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. As you look out from the uh, the top of the castle here, you can start to see, like you can see the um, the coastline dropping away into the sea and you can see the um, the port city of Waterdeep uh, coming up on the horizon you're nearly there how far now? say to Bard yeah. it's been a bit since we've been back to I don't know an actual city I guess well yeah I think for me, I haven't really been there, I've just been everywhere, but I've only been getting letters from Eric, so I might be able to try and find him today. Oh, that'd be good. Maybe yeah. he might know of this Talon guy, since apparently Kate, um, Eric knows about Kaylin, and Kaylin knows about Talon, maybe. Yeah. That's what about I know. I mean, I don't really know much more than you. I mean, well, I do know that he took one of my griffins, so I don't mind. They were so never that he dies. I mean, the fact <laughs> that we were, I mean, when I got there, well, when they came here, there was no sign of this talent guy. All I know is that um, Caden was not very happy with it. Or something like that. She didn't look happy. Hmm. Maybe she just, um... I think I might have upset her on that day. I wasn't very nice on that day, too, so... I'm mm. a little bit snappy. Sorry, we all have bad days. Well, it's more the fact that she is a noble, and during this... And back then, especially when I dealt with minos, uh... Yeah, mm, not I so felt like nobles. Not good with nobles, not good with dwarves, not good with people with uh, certain types of magic that mm. controls other people. Yeah. Not good with children, not good with furniture. <laughs> not good with animals. <laughs> it was just that kind of, you know, that specific type of people. I mean, it took me a while to actually get me to the yeah, icon as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, the dwarf that I met briefly. Why oh, he came with us? Why did he? Do you know why he always smelled like wet dog? I really didn't ask that. But just constantly. I don't know what it was. Here. Isn't it weird though that it turns out the moon is actually not quite as you? Oh, I had. Well, <laughs> I was always wondering how a unicorn can have a he like a human child. Well, I had suspicion. At least I think Briar was human. Uh, to be honest, I would have to say that 
Well, the gun looks stable. I think she's getting a little bit too much into the point of losing it. She's getting very unstable. She is. I'm not just worried for her, but I'm worried about for everyone else. I feel like if we were to accidentally step out of the line to try and stop her, I'm worried that we get her. Yeah, there'd be just something. We've seen how she acted towards Sage, and you can see how she acted towards uh, that guy, um, the chained one, whatever his name is. Yeah. But she did go and see the actual aunt of the girl. And she True. did say that she wasn't exactly the mother, but it's still. The fact is that even if she admits it, she still feels like she is the mother of her. If anything, I just think I, I'm starting to lose my trust in her again. She stayed unstuck. She's becoming right. a little bit too much dangerous. I don't mm. know. I think she just. I think she's a little close to this. I mean, we're all under a lot of stress, and I think she's just handling it differently than, her, than everyone is. But I don't Especially think she on how, can. like, just like, her bond with this child must have been something special, or else this is. It's worth the. Well, not overreaction, but just the how she's working this out. You know, I'm not here. I'm not following her to find her. Like, I mean, I kept it around because one, I didn't know where you were gonna go, and two, um. I realize in that the uh, bar of bounds were in fold some way. And this is much more bigger than just one girl. There's other people that are kidnapped, there's other people that are killed. Mostly children, mostly young girls, mostly young people. This reason why I stayed around. It's not just because of this Briar girl. Yeah, that's understandable. But you 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 stay on because there's a much bigger picture than just well Briar. But for Lunar, I think this is just Briar. Just Briar. And I think the free taking down some bad people and freeing some uh, little girls are sort of just all part of the bonuses of getting her child back. I don't think it is. I mean, even though she's saying it, it's not her child. Oh. We were to compare, I'm not saying I'm going to compare actually, but I know someone who is a person that loves a child even though it's not their own, and seen it as Luna. Like Lunan? My adopted parent, who adopted me in the Cricket Bros, my adopted mother. Yeah. She doesn't act the way how way how she acts is loving. She understands me. She gives me space. She always there for me when I need it. And for Luna, it's like suffocating. I mean, I can't really judge on parenting. I didn't have a mom around. I just had a very weird man as a dad. Uh, oh, yeah. I had murdered my childhood the cranky old man, but he was someone, I mean, like, like, I, like I said, I really had parents. They died before hmm. I was born. They said it was a disease, my grandparents so. did. And then I didn't stay with my grandparents, so I kind of ran away at that point, tried to come back. They then passed away, realizing I had no more people left. And um, I was alone for a good amount of 
while and then I met Merlin. Stayed with him for a while and then I got taken away. And then yeah, met the Quigglebot. So, I mean I wasn't even his pal. So, we played that grandparent so I got this Twin Paradises of Bytopia, apparently. Which I have no clue what that is, in some cases. I don't know about it. I mean, I don't mind knowledge of. Uh, other places is not so great in hindsight foresight whatever sight 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 that's the one just I'm kind of new to this place as well the island was interesting but it wasn't really the rest of the, you know world um Bar is gonna absentmindedly scratch at his chest. Just, hmm. you, you okay? I'm fine, just lost my um, caravan of thought. As you scratch your chest, borrowed, mm-hmm. around where the crystal has been located, there's a bump. Gonna look down my shirt. You can see black veins starting to spread out from where the crystal is. Can I try and insight that? Oh, um. You see Borrowed look down his shirt. Um. But I don't see the thing. Hey, 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 Milo, do you mind looking at something for me? And Borrowed's gonna just take, just lift his shirt up so that you can see, like, the. He's just gonna go blood. He's like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that. It's not like that. Just look, look. And he looks. He goes, oh. You see what looks like an infected wound with black veins spreading out from it. He starts to panic a little bit and just goes in and just inspects it, trying to see. I can tell you, this was not there yesterday. I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe it's the dream you had? I uh, I think I know exactly what it's from which just means we need to get it out of my chest a lot sooner which is good that we're heading to Waterdeep because there might be someone there who can help me uh, Who? We, I can... I don't know anyone <laughs> I'm just slow like Mila slowly trying to pull his hair out he's like in like kind of stress so that's Fine, kind of... it'll be fine it's just it hasn't done anything to me Yet, it just looks bad, I think. You don't feel any different other than... It's very warm. warm. A little warm. Mm. Fine. fine. It'll it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be good. Uh, Sage and Essela, can I get another chest check, please? You may. Slightly quicker this time. It takes about ten minutes and Sage has checkmate. I'll be taking that to money. Thank you very much. So uh, double or nothing? Jeff's is on meat. Sorry, I yeah. think I think I've I think I've learned enough um, for for this lesson. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome, Solo. I'm sure we'll play again. Of course. You, you must be able to teach me a few games that you've learned. This one. Like well. Snap. <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny, funny you say that. Um, I do ca- I do have a three dragon anti deck. Oh, fantastic! Let's play. Do you have time? It's getting a bit close to when you're going to be at Waterdeep. You can play, but obviously you'll be over Waterdeep. Um, just a few hands here and there. No, no gambling, obviously. 
think someone's I think afraid to lose the hundred gold they just got. <laughs> yes. I oh, think, we've got no um, time, have we? So that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go, yeah. Um, perhaps, like, perhaps later. Ah, okay then. You just, you know, you could just see Sage just you know, like counting the money, just and play. He's not an addict. He's not a gambler at all. <laughs> right. You're gonna have to be if you win all the time. Uh, you approach Waterdeep. And I assume somebody stops the castle. I think now we just sail straight over. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Milo and Thank I think Milo and Borrowed are the closest ones. So yeah. yeah. Uh, the castle drifts to a halt. You all gather in one place, I assume. And how are you getting down into Waterdeep itself? Well, we can. There's several ways. Um, we could fall. We could take the portal. We could take the birds. I prefer or, not. To, I prefer not to cause a fuss with big birds. Or we land the castle somewhere outside and walk. I would probably say we could take a portal. I think oh, okay. the portal. The portal sounds like a good idea. Sure, 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 sure. All right, are we, are we just going straight into the main town? Maybe? To city centre. Because, who, like, can we talk to anyone in Neverwinter? Never no, Winter. because we're at Waterdeep. Very Waterdeep. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> you can try. Out in Neverwinter. We have a few um, people in Waterdeep. Cause... Oh, do you? Yeah. That's nice. Well, Isn't that um, dwarf Luna is engaged to here. Oh yeah. Wait, she's oh. engaged. Yeah, but you don't remember, Boris. <laughs> Ten intelligence doesn't get you much, I'm afraid. <laughs> Technically, Luna is here, so I just want Luna to say waves. I forgot and she's engaged. I just wanted to say it for the meme, guys. That's all I wanted to do. Okay, so we're going to talk about Luna like she's not here, even though she's standing right there. Hi, oh, hello, Luna. She's right there. Look, right there. Look. <laughs> Uh, if we're gonna portal down, uh, I'll move the castle so it's, you know, at least the ground is within fi 500 feet of us, I guess. Um, and then just... Just just have it, like, suddenly drop out of the air towards this farmhouse to farm as... No, just sort of see if I can, like, select just a nice sort of, like, city square where magical stuff looks common, and then just... Quick portal, and then we're good. Did you put your t-shirt back on? Your shirt back on? Mm, yeah, obviously. <laughs> did you see him put on? <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Uh, I put shirt, armor, you know, the whole shebang. Okay. Um... So are you just picking at random where to turn up? Uh, probably to the marketplace. Yeah, like um. Yeah. Okay. I see yeah. no issue with him. The marketplace seems good. Uh, borrowed does the usual spell, spins a hand round, and a swirling gateway opens. You step through it. And I believe, is it open? Is it the standard? It's open for six seconds, or is it slightly uh, longer than that? Ten minutes. It's open for ten minutes, as long as I maintain concentration on it. Oh, I you, you don't have to rush it. Up. Yeah, it's just <laughs> much time. more leisurely pace. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you all step through uh, the large swirling portal into uh, the marketplace. Um, you see... Um, a, one of the large statues in Waterdeep with one hand held high above it uh, sunk up to its uh, waist into the ground uh, you can see sort of a structure a building has been built on its shoulders up its arm um, and sort of surrounding it are market stalls um there's the sound of music playing 
as a pair of bards are uh, playing their specific musical instruments, you look over and see a female Arakrokran playing a shwarm. Uh, a, a woodwind horn. Um, and a male tabaxi bard playing a trombone-like uh, horn. Um, and they are playing away. Can I get perception checks from people, please? Okay. Sure. Perception, don't fail me now. I will try. Yes! <laughs> yes! Natural 20! That's one. Ah, perfect. My average. It's good. Uh, Milo and Essela. Hello, yes. Um, Essela. Hello. You notice amongst the shoppers, um, and there's, this is, this is water deep. There's pretty much all of the races mix here. Mm. Um, you, you see humans, you see elves, you see uh, mixes of the two, you see dwarves. You see dragons. <laughs> One that does stand out to you yeah. is that over there holding hands is a furbolg uh, with bright orange hair holding hands with a half orc. Who is wearing glasses? Oh. Milo. <laughs> you, see that also. <laughs> you see that also. Do I immediately recognize? Oh person? yes. I do a big grin and run towards him. <laughs> wait, Milo, wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. I yell. Eric! <laughs> Eric slowly turns. I jump on him. <laughs> um, he, on the other hand, is looking around, going, "Oh, did he?" Do you want the force or do I want the force? Talk to yourself, Daddy. Talk to yourself. I can't talk because I might make him. Be. You want a voice to Eric? I will. I will voice the Eric. Try the Scottish accent. Okay. And I full voice robot. Uh, Eric <laughs> takes the takes the running leap from the uh, halfling wizard, and just sort of scoops you up into a hug of someone who he knows very well, as he realizes who it is that's launched uh, himself <laughs> at them. <laughs> It's mini A right because he's also got shit. It's it's a, it's either someone I know or a very weird mugging. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's it's an approach. It is. I feel like it's just that that Brooklyn Nine Nine cold open where it's like no matter what Sarge is is holding, he'll if I jump at him, he'll always catch me. Watch, and then. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally that you reckon by the right there. Okay. Milo. No, that's not Scottish. Oh, hi. Milo. <laughs> Milo. Hi. Milo. If you can't do it, John, don't worry. We shall try. <laughs> it's not working. I don't know where I've gone. Potato. You potato. Oh, I apologize for any anyone from Scotland who's watching the stream. And from wherever the hell that other accent's from. Yeah. Wales. <laughs> oh, hi, the new. How are you? <laughs> oh, no. I, I, continue. <laughs> there is a... I can feel a chill coming down from Hadrian's wall already. In there, it's nice. <laughs> All right, let's have peace and quiet and seriousness now. 
Milo, what are you doing here? Oh, we're just visiting uh, stuff that's happening, so we're just doing a bit of shopping as well. You know, bits and bits. Eric puts you down on the ground gently. You remember uh, Romad, right? Turns looked at Romad. Romad's just looking at Milo like... Confused. Milo so just... I need to remember... I need to remind myself what I said in the notes they remember. I, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I do. You... Was that you the one who um, went to Chell recently? Ugh. Roma just like kind of like got a little bit of comp. Yes. Wait. That was, that was me and a few my other team. Is wait, is this Milo is this three of Milo's characters have met up together in Waterdeep? I have a habit of getting all my characters I know of all, somehow know each other. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. That's great. I will tell you a story about somebody. But I'll put it out for now. Yes, that was me. That I, uh, I just did not want to return. A few months now, leave. Yes, yes, it's it's nearly three months now, I believe. I'm just still getting used to the back to normal life feeling, to be honest. Eric sort of smiles, and yeah, it's hard when you leave the forces. Going back to civilian life is weird. Well, just not just that. I, I went through a lot of stuff after the Matilda. Well, I mean, this is very similar to that. You're back home from being away for a long time. It, yeah, you've been through... He squeezes uh, Romad's hand. You've been through a lot. Just got home. So is my sister. So, Milo, I've been told many things about you, Eric. And I just looked at Eric like, what have you told him? Only the good stuff. Good. I have not... Eric hasn't really told much about you. I want to know that he had a crush on you at one point. Eric blushes. Well, we are together now. Mm. So, uh... How... What is your... Is there a reason you're here with that? Like I said to Eric, we're just passing by, doing some stuff. Wait. Eric. Yes? Did you... Your friend... Your um, friend, Kaylin, right? She... Um... Did she no, your like... friend... His father's boss. <laughs> my, my, no, my father's... Yeah, we, we know Kaylin. Did she know a talent? Are you... Sorry, before we get into this, are you going to introduce us to the people that you, you're you travelling with, I, or...? I, I, I yell at everyone, like, come over here, guys, come over here! I want to show you my friends. Are we just going to keep this an interesting conversation between the two of us? <laughs> <laughs> come over here. Oh, oh um, shit. Bard, Bard was... Distracted with a um, a local like jerky vendor, and has gotten <laughs> has gotten like just a just a, like a sort of a miniature like takeaway like brown bag just full of like little pieces of jerk, and he's currently chewing on one. And he just okay. pays and then just sort of floats over <laughs> towards <laughs> towards Milo in the group. I say something to John. I'm gonna quickly look at things oh. that are being said to me at things with your eyes don't be disgusting John I'm going to then try to comprehend the things with my brain and make use of the language deciphering the meaning of the symbols that I've been taught many years ago oh, to hopefully please. reassemble them into English oh, the piece of, you're going to use the bacon that sits in the middle of your bone structure and think about things using electrical current? Weird. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm going to use the meat. I'm going to use the meat. That's going to be on merch. I will, I will use yeah. the skull meat. 
uh, for anybody who's interested, go and watch the Final Boss Fight book club. It's made of meat for the full story about that. It's a very good short story. Mm -hmm. And it also helps me to plug, one, plug the other web videos on the website, and two, cover the time while Tanny types things. Mm-hmm. Tippy tap tap. So, how are you, Chad? Are you wonderful? You sure do seem wonderful. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> oh, how wonderful, Chad. <laughs> that sounds that sounds absolutely you wonderful. Don't, you don't you don't say. She didn't. She didn't. Oh, she didn't. Okay. <laughs> oh, crazy oh. stories Chad has. What a bitch. <laughs> what an absolute stone cold bitch. <laughs> Stone Cold, Stone Cold. Stone Cold. She was Steve Austin. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty Stone Cold. It's, what are the chances? It's, it's strange you didn't notice that sooner. <laughs> How could Sounds this be? Frigid. <laughs> Flight doesn't want to read. Mm. Doesn't want to. Okay. I think I'm ready. So I, jelly. I, I like usher everyone over. Like, come on over, come on over. And um, as Barry from over, I hold over his hand and grins. <laughs> I I try and grin, but I I realize I have a mouthful of food, and I I just go like just big swallow, and then go. <laughs> Guys, this is um, this is um, a rig. And this is also on that as well. Could I get insight checks from people, please? Yes. I believe I'm half decent at insight, I think. Insight. So <laughs> oh! Apparently wow. I'm quite good at insight. Essela, you're distracted by the jerky stand still. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll flash of genius just in case. <laughs> Who are you flash of genius singing? Me. You. <laughs> you know, if you were saying flash of genius but saying flashing, I would be very concerned. Steel's going to flash himself. 